super performance. Um, we were excited about this group of players and they've gone out there today and showed us why. Uh, going down to 10 men, losing our keeper, putting our centre half in goal, which I took a gamble before the game in naming five outfield players and unfortunately um, Dan, who was here as a, uh, our second keeper, um, unfortunately didn't make the squad and I explained that I was going to take the gamble. Um, and I thought that was going to you know, come back and bite me, but uh, Joe Allen has played in goal before and uh, obviously I knew that before the game and we were confident that when he went in goal we, we still had enough from what we saw in the first half an hour that actually second half we could go out and still get a result and that's exactly what we did. I mean it's been a, it's been a, a difficult build up in many ways in the sense of before the match many trials, a lot of players of a very good consistently high standard um, not a lot between many of them to choose. Uh, the game on Tuesday warm-up match was called off uh, right at, you know, at the last moment. It must have been a hell of a job today coming in to actually choose your 11 best players. Yeah, I don't think it was about picking our 11 best players. It was about picking combinations, um, the shape we to, wanted to, to play. To, to many of us, we won't understand what you mean by that. What, what do you well, mean Well, the combinations of your best partnership at centre-half, who you think is going to work together in a midfield diamond for your front two, how they're going to work together. Um, what we've seen in training, you know, you, you sometimes as footballers, you just strike a relationship. Um, you've got an understanding of what they're going to do before they do it. So the side was picked on that more than the best 11 players because everyone that we had here today offers something a bit different. And that's what we said to them. Um, We've got many, many strengths in this squad and it was just pulling all of those strengths together to make us as good as we possibly could on the day. We can hear in the background they're, they're getting a good round of applause as they walk uh, off the pitch into the change rooms but the game itself, you had a lot of pressure early on, Devon started to get back into it and then a cracking shot by Jack Webber. Yeah, sometimes you, you make little journeys um, to watch players, which I did couple of weeks ago down to a Luggan on what was a horrific Saturday afternoon with the weather and um, it was the first time I'd seen him outside of a, a very early trial and I just thought he offered something in in behind the front two and um, he actually struggled I thought in the first 15 minutes just to get a foothold in the game but um, he showed what he was capable of with a, a great 20 yard um, left foot shot that, that flew into the top corner which we thoroughly deserve for our dominance. Um, and, th and that was the only thing that was missing was the goal. And of course then, uh, five or six minutes before half time, Luke Willem coming out for the ball. A little bit hesitation, it ended up with him, well, he handing the ball outside the area, George Patterson, the referee, showing the red card, which surprised a few of us. But uh, Joe Allen puts on the gloves, goes into goal, and his first touch of the ball is, is taken out of the net. Yeah, disappointing goal. Um, Good free kick. It was a good free kick, but disappointing how we got to that stage to give away the free kick. Uh, we we stepped a little bit late, um, which played them onside, which then forced Luke to come out of his box. Uh, the player's gone and hit the ball, um, and Luke's got his hands, not by his side by any means, but um, the referee said far enough away from his body that he felt that there was a deliberate action towards the ball. Uh, I've seen them given, and I've seen... I've seen yellow cards for that. Uh, disappointing, but we've got to accept the decision. Um, and it wasn't about dwelling on the decision because we still had, I thought, a bench and the 10 players that were left on the field. We had enough to go and win the game. We well, certainly proved that. Came out second half and to many of us, you know, it, we thought it was Devon that had the 10 men. It did look like that for <laughs> large periods. Um, Ollie Walker, I mean, two great well taken goals. Ollie's um, a tremendous player, he was involved last year with us as a, a year 11, um, a 15 year old, um, a year 11 at school and I think that experience of being around the squad last year, getting some minutes and, and coming on and, and starting games and did ever so well until he got injured later in the season. Um, he showed today as his experience, he's willing to listen, he's willing to learn um, and uh, it paid dividends for him today with, with two goals. And the, and the fourth, Jack Penrose, uh, uh, Josh Penrose, um, well, just, he made it look so easy. Yeah, Josh, um, you know, what, what's lovely today is that 
it's different for us in that when you have the five subs you could it's rolling subs you can change it as and when you want so we we changed things after 15 minutes today we just saw something that we thought we could go and exploit with Josh um, we we got a shape back at half time we changed it very early in the second half and and went to a 4-4-1 but put real pace in wide areas um, and, and asked them to, to really test the full backs when we had the ball and um, we spoke at half time that when we have the ball unless Devon completely changed their shape um, push their full backs in we would still always outnumber them because they played four at the back against our one and, and that worked in our favour and that never really changed throughout the whole of the game so whilst in possession we were still able to keep the ball um, and if you have the quality on the ball you'll create chances and certainly the um, third and fourth goals uh, I don't care where you are they're, they're tremendous goals um, and some tremendous performances some very tired legs but they've done their county proud today